Welcome once again. This time we move on to another question in the same paper we have been going through in the previous few videos. And the question reads, perform the 2's complement on 13 base 10 minus 23 base 10, leaving your answer in decimal number system. So let's see how we can tackle such a question. Now, first of all, we need to understand the 2's complement system of working. And uh, I advise candidates to always work out such a question in the 8-bit system. Now, our numbers or our sum is 13 base 10 minus 23 base 10. Now, right away, you notice that we are having a larger number being subtracted from a smaller number. Now, we expect to get a negative result. 13 minus 23, we expect to get negative 10. Now, in the question, we are expected to leave our answer in the decimal number system. The decimal number system is the same system in which the sum has been given. And so straight away, it means, obviously, our result has to be negative 10 base 10. And so, as a good candidate, that should be your answer at the end of it all, because we can obviously see the sum right there. That is what it should lead to. Now, whatever goes on in between here is what we want to see, so that we understand how to move from this sum to this result going through the two's complement system. So obviously the two's complement system is a system which works with binary numbers. That is how computers deal with uh, signed numbers, especially negatives. And so it means we first have to convert our numbers into the binary system. Let's begin with 13, dividing it repeatedly by 2, and noting the remainders. 2 goes into 13 6 times with 1 as the remainder. 2 goes into 6 3 times with no remainder. 2 goes into 3 1 time with 1 remainder. And 2 into 1 is 0 with the remainder being 1. Reading them backwards as usual. 13 base 10 is equivalent to 1101 base 2. Next we work out 23. And 23 divided by 2, noting the remainders, 22, 2 goes into 23 11 times with a remainder of 1, 2 into 11 is 5 times with a remainder of 1, 2 into 5 is 2 with a remainder of 1, 2 into 2 is 1 with a re no remainder, and 2 into 1 is 0 with the remainder being 1. Again, reading them in reverse. 23 base 10 is 10111 base 2. So we now have our numbers in the binary system. We can rewrite that sum in its binary equivalent being 1101 minus 10111 base 2. Now remember 8 bit system. So let's rewrite again our sum with each number having 8 bits. To do that, we will add zeros to the left of each number, which are insignificant, so they don't change the value of the number. So the first number having 4 bits will need 4 more zeros to make it 8 bits, minus the second number, the negative number, has 5 bits, so we need 3 zeros to make it 8 bits. All right. Now from here going forward we deal with the negative number. We can even rewrite the sum as this plus negative 00010111. So our negative number in the brackets is what we are going to convert into 
a two bit uh, into sorry into a tools complement version of it to get a tools complement you first have to get the ones complement and then next you add one to the ones complement so to get the ones complement you change the zeros to ones and the ones to zeros and therefore zero sorry zero becomes one zero one zero one one zero zero to one and the three ones to three zeros this is the ones complement of that number and then to get the two's complement we add one at the rightmost position and so we get one zero zero one zero one 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 and this is now our tools complement all right now next step is we now take this tools complement and add it to our positive number so we have zero 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 one one zero one we are adding to that one 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 zero one zero zero one so one plus one gives you zero and we carry a one one plus zero plus zero is one one plus zero is one one plus one is zero carry one one plus zero is one and we have one and one and one now this result remember is the result of subtracting a large number from a small number and so now that we expect a negative what happens from here is that we go ahead again and get the two's complement of this result how do we do that we change zeros to ones and ones to zeros and add one so here we shall get zero 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 one zero zero one and then we add one so this is again a ones complement when we add one to this we get zero carry one one zero one of course the rest are zeros now here we are arriving at a result 1010 zero, zero, base 2 and in this case this is a negative and so being a negative we can now convert 1010 zero, zero, to base 2 into decimal and then we'll have a negative sign before it now because i did not take care of my spacing let me grab a blank paper on which I'll perform the rest of the steps to arrive at this answer. Remember, we have arrived at the result of adding the negative number having been converted to two's complement to the positive number. And then on that result, we have performed again a two's complement operation on it by converting zeros to ones and ones to zeros and then adding one. We have arrived at 1010 base 2 and I'm saying that is with a negative because that is what we expected and so the remaining step is just to convert 1010 base 2 into decimal. Now on this paper we have 1010 zero, one, zero, base 2. We need to convert this into decimal which is base 10 so how do we proceed space out your digits have two and then starting from the right going to the left put powers on the twos with starting with zero one two and three and what you do take this multiplied by that so two power zero times zero and bracket that this multiply by that 2 power 1 times 1 bracket that leaving some space 
take this, multiply by that, 2 power 2 times 0, with some space there, and lastly that, multiplied by that, 2 power 3 times 1. In your spaces, have addition signs, and get the result of this. So, with the help of our calculator, 2 power 3 is 8. Now, here, because we are going to eventually multiply by 0, obviously, the result for that is 0, as well as this, 0. And so 2 power 1 is 2, times 1 is 2, and 8 plus 2 is 10 base 10. So our final result is negative 10 base 10. So that is a clear method of how the question needs to be handled. I hope that has been clear. We shall do something else in the next video.